Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to start doing some cookie making for Christmas. I'm going to start with uh, peanut butter cookie cups with chocolate ganache. Um, I'll link this recipe in the description. And everything you need is right here. So it says really easy. It uses this peanut butter cookie mix and you can pick it up at the grocery store. And then you add to, the, you make it as it is on the bag. So it says three tablespoons of oil, one tablespoon of water and one egg right here. So, and then for the ganache over here, you will use um, heavy cream, butter, chocolate chips, and vanilla. So first we're gonna make the cookie mix and put it into this mini uh, cupcake tray. And then once it comes out, you just press it in and then you fill it with the ganache. Let's get to it. All right, guys, we're ready to start. So I'm just using this. Um, it was on sale, buy one, get one free at Publix. So if you have a Publix near you, you could probably get this pretty cheap. And then you just follow the directions on the back of the bag. So we need three tablespoons of oil. and one tablespoon of water. I can't believe I didn't spill that. That's awesome. And one egg. Mine keeps rolling away from me. All right, easy as pie, right? Then you just mix it all together. Then we'll put it in the mini muffin tin. Be good enough. All right. And then you kind of want to make a make it to be like a little pocket. No, like that. Actually, I think you can just put it like this. And then once it comes out of the oven, then you smash it down to make the little pocket for the ganache. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish filling the rest of these and pop them in the oven. All right guys, I just got these out of the oven and while they're hot, you just wanna press them down with, um, you just have wanna make a little hollow, you know, maybe with your tablespoon, just like that. Press it all the way down as much as you can while they're nice and hot still. And that will give a little crevice for the ganache to sit in. And the tablespoon works pretty good. I wonder what a teaspoon would do. That might be, that pushes down a little bit too much. So let's do, stick with the tablespoon. That works pretty good. And you can get a nice amount of ganache in there. Okay, so I'm gonna do all of these and then I'm gonna set this to cool just a little bit more. And then I'm gonna put it on a cooling rack and while that is cooling on the cooling rack, we'll make the ganache. And then by the time that is done, these will be cooled enough to fill. You don't wanna fill them while they're really hot because then it will just all melt together and be a huge mess. So let's get these cooled and we'll get to making the ganache. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start our ganache. We will put one third of a cup of heavy cream. I'm just using heavy whipping cream, just a store brand. And you wanna put that in a small pot. You probably could use a smaller one than this if you have. This is about the smallest pot I have. And you wanna put that on a medium high and bring that up to, until it's hot, but you don't want it cold. And then the two tablespoons, I'm gonna switch that to my small burner. Two tablespoons of softened butter. I think that'll just make it um, melt a little bit easier if it's softened. It probably doesn't need to be softened for this recipe. And then we bring that until it's hot, and then we'll take it off the heat and stir in the vanilla and the chocolate chips. I think I'll use a whisk for this, and that might make it a little smoother. Okay, so I'm gonna get this hot and get the butter melted, and then I'll bring it back when it's ready to add in the vanilla and chocolate chips. 
All right, so I got the heavy cream and the butter nice and hot, but not boiling. And you take it off the heat, and then you add in one teaspoon of vanilla. Mix that in. And then one and a half cups of chocolate chips. You can use whatever kind that you like. I enjoy the milk chocolate chips the best. You could use dark or semi-sweet. And then we stir this until it's nice and melted and smooth. Now it's starting to get really nice and creamy. You can see that it's all melting and incorporating into the cream and the butter. And this is ganache. So then I'm gonna keep stirring this for a little bit and then it's gonna cool off just a teeny bit. And I have a Ziploc here um, in a mug so I can pour it easily into here. And then you'll snip off the bottom of the bag, just a little corner of it, and then pour it into your cookie cups. That's probably good there. I'm just gonna get a little rubber spatula real quick just to make sure I can get it all out of the pot. Don't want to waste. And then I'll just pour it right into this bag. I think this is the best trick ever because I've tried to do this before without having it inside of a glass or a mug or something. I wouldn't do it in plastic because maybe the chocolate might be a little too hot but this is nice, it holds your bag open and it holds it in place. And it goes right in just like that. All right, so then now we can go ahead and I'll move the cookies over and we'll go ahead and fill them. So I had a couple that Kind of fell apart and as I was going I was learning instead of trying to get like a knife down in to get it out if you just take the top of your cup and twist it like this in the mini muffin pan it'll release itself and then you can pull it straight out I had a couple that kind of just pulled off the rim like this like I pulled the top off of it and at the bottom I only did it twice and then I learned that so we can still eat those it just won't make a pretty gift Okay, so now I'm going to take my bag here of ganache and I'm going to, maybe I should probably close it, huh, so it doesn't snip out the sides. The other day I was doing this with um, trying to make little mini donuts in a little pan and there was a hole in the side of my Ziploc. I don't know how it got there, but man, that was such a pain. Actually, I'm going to leave a little hole in the top just to let air come out. So I sealed it most of the way and just left one little spot open so that way I can squeeze it. Okay. And then I'm just gonna snip off just a little corner like that. And then we can try not to make a mess and fill in our cups. Just like that. I don't know how much to put in each one, so I'll just put a little bit, and then if I have some extra, I'll go back and top these off. There's nothing better than peanut butter and chocolate.
I was thinking about topping these off, but I think that's plenty of chocolate. I did have um, a little bit of extra batter and I made this one really big cookie, so make a, maybe I'll make a pretty little design on it. Then I'll let my kids split it. Whoops. I can't do it without making a mess, but look how beautiful those are. Let's put some sprinkles on top while it's still wet. It is Christmas, right? Do a little bit of green. My dog barks at everything. She's one years old. She's a one year old, excuse me. And she um, <laughs> is a silver lab. And let me tell you, she just loves to bark at anything. She hears a noise and she barks. Sometimes she barks at us when I make a noise that she didn't recognize. She thinks that's fun. But man, that's really pretty with these sprinkles. Maybe I'll do one more of these and then I'll do some of the other ones. Sure gives it a pretty color. All right, and we're done. We'll go ahead and let those cool and that will set. And this is gonna be part of gifts that I'm making for our friends and neighbors and some Christmas parties that we're going to. So if you have enjoyed my videos, I would love it if you would like this video and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be pumping out lots of content. I got lots of stuff in my garden ready to go. So um, hope to see you guys soon. Thanks for joining me.